This is a reading for Lenny, who is asking about job prospects. I'll shuffle the deck and we'll go ahead and begin. Lenny, the card that represents you is the Page of Wands. Your concerns? It's a Nine of Cups. Past, Ace of Swords. The Foundation. Recent History, Ace of Cups. Current influences, Fool, Near Future, Knight of Swords, the card about you, your attitudes, is the Seven of Swords, your friends and family, the Five of Swords, a lot of conflict. Goal card is the Nine of Pentacles. And your outcome card is the Hierophant. Well, first of all, I have to say there's an awful lot of conflict going on for you and has been for some time. Um, the Cups card, the Nine of Cups, that represents your heart, feelings, and um, concerns satisfaction, wishes, what you want to come true. It's also unfulfillment. The Ace of Swords, that represents um, triumphant winner through determination. And so, at some point, you were successful. You apparently had a good job, things are going well for you, and probably unexpected loss of the job. Your recent past, which is the Ace of Cups, that represents a uh, Plenty, beginnings of love and joy, so I foresee that you had a relationship and everything was quite stable for you, um, but those things obviously changed. Your current situation, which is the Fool card, um, that should show new beginnings for you. So I'm thinking it's a very strong possibility that you have some job prospects, even though there's nothing set in stone. Um, something is probably going to come to you in the near future, and it's one of the jobs that you've applied for or position that you'd hope to get. But um, at this point, they may have even contacted you tentatively. Um, it's a wait and see situation. The Knight of Swords. That's another conflict card. Uh, that's courage and foresight and victoriousness uh, in the face of adversity. So I would say if you do have a job opportunity that opens up to you an interview of some sort, you need to be fully prepared, resume in hand, um, a strong attitude, which you already have, you already have a very strong attitude, uh, and just go full force into it with as much confidence as you can carry. You're one of these people who's very creative. Um, you have a kind of shell on you, so you do have a hard, thick skin, but underneath you're quite soft, and um, you're a tender person. 
very helpful, that sort of thing. So the fields that I would see you in might even be um, health related, where you're tending to people, um, uh, where you are a person who is uh, their strength when they're weak. So fields for you that would be good, or that maybe you've already been in, would be nursing, um, any kind of uh, uh, position where you are the touchstone. Uh, I don't know if you've gotten into any kind of college or anything, but if you haven't, that's something that you would do really well at. You're the kind of personality that when you um, study, you take it all in and you actually can put it to use. You don't just absorb things, you use them. You're an active person too. Uh, jobs that you have had, you put your whole self into them and you're a, a goal-oriented type of individual. The Seven of Swords card, which represents you at this time and your attitude, again, it's conflict. Um, don't take what isn't yours. Don't get into arguments. Um, you have to be reasonable. It's possible that uh, your job loss here had to do with the economy, but it also is possible that there was a conflict between you and who you were working for. Um, not in necessarily a bad way on your part, but you have a strong enough attitude that if uh, you're working for somebody and you felt that what you were doing was the right way to do it and they disagreed, that kind of conflict. Your family, which is the uh, Five of Swords, <laughs> again, another conflict. I see so much conflict going on in your life. It's no wonder that you uh, are having problems finding work. I think you are probably distressed, and um, it could be that the influences around you, which are not just your family, but maybe uh, friends, are um, causing you not to see the big picture and not to go forward like you probably should. I can't understand what all the conflict is from. I don't see anything specific. Uh, but it's there. And I don't think it's something you've done. But I think it's something that you've been involved in. Mm. Quite likely... Uh, disagreements that have blown out of proportion and because you're the kind of personality that you hold a grudge <laughs> I hate to say that but you know you're there for somebody 100% of the time if you understand that they're on the same um, page as you are but when there's a disagreement you're the kind of person who knows you are right and you're strong enough to push it um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing if you're in a management type position, but I don't see that you've been there. Um, and I'm not sure that that's the direction you're going by your cards. Uh, applications for you in the workforce should probably deviate from what you've been doing in the past. Um, related work may be better for you rather than going down the same road because that's a dead end from, from what it looks like here. Not that it's not work you can't do, it's just not open to you right now. You need to look for jobs that are um, similar, but still not in the same area that you have worked in the past. Also, again, school is an opportunity for you. If you could go back, um, take some college courses, uh, maybe something that has a, a certificate, rather than going four years, go two years. There's a lot of money out there, and um, if you've been out of work for a long time, you could definitely qualify for some kind of financial aid. I see that as something that's very positive for you. So if the job market is bad where you're at and you can't move somewhere where it's better, maybe you would um, do well to think a little bit about um, training in some area that's different from what you already have. Kind of broaden your base, uh, make yourself more employable in that area. 
your goal card, which is the nine of coins, obviously it's financial. You have high expectations. Um, you won't step back from where you were before. That's part of the reason, again, why you aren't finding a job, is because why go out and find work for less than what you personally value yourself? Well, in the situation today, a lot of people have had to rethink that and start in an area that's less than what they'd anticipated or hoped for. And that's not a bad thing either, because you get some basic training in something maybe you haven't done before, and that just, again, broadens your base. It makes you more employable in a number of areas. I don't see you as an office worker. I don't see you as a support staff kind of person. Um, I would like to think that you were in, in the health field more than anything. That seems most likely for you. But again, you may have to rethink that and you may have to do something like a support staff type job or um, something less than what you've done in the past so that you can at least progress forward and have that uh, momentum so that when something really does show up for you that you want, you have a history, a working history, and that makes you more employable. Now your outcome card, which is the Hierophant, that is a, uh, a card of uh, conservativeness and I guess you could say that you're wise and you do have kindness. All those things kind of go together in your personality, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for a job or a career although this does look like it might be a person that you know who may be able to offer you a job, somebody that you haven't really talked to about it, maybe you would approach them if you thought about it. I don't see anything happening immediately. I do see prospects. I do see that um, you could jump in and possibly make yourself notable. Uh, you might not get hired right away, but Again, an employer who you saw right away might consider you for a future position. If you stay on this path that you're on now, um, you're not going to be greatly successful, and, and that's a shame because you're very uh, creative, and I think you're quite employable. You just haven't looked in areas that um, would probably work for you now, at least to get you a start, because like I said, you don't want to step back. And that's perfectly understandable, but it's just not going to work for you at this time. So if you lower your expectations a little bit and seek some of the jobs that you might not necessarily want, but at least could get you a foot in, then I think you might have an opportunity to um, take on a job and move up. I hope this helps you. Um, good luck.